Okay, welcome to today's um, maths revision lesson. Today we are going to remember how we find fractions of amounts. So let's start off with some with with the we we'll start with the method that is the foolproof method for any uh, finding any percentage of any amount. Okay, so I'm going to start with how to find um, thirty five percent of 1500 okay so let's remember that percentage actually means out of 100 so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to express 35 percent as a fraction 35 out of 100 um, is our 35 percent okay of which we also know means times um, 1,500 is the equation we're going to do. So actually what we are going to do now that we've changed it to a fraction is find the fraction of that amount. So there are two ways that you can do this. Okay, number one is that you can do 1,500 divided by the denominator times it by the numerator or you can do it the other way around. It really depends. I know by looking at this that these have two zeros on the end both of them do. So actually, I can cancel down those zeros and end up doing 15 divided by 1, which leaves me with 15. So the only calculation that I'm going to have to do in order to solve this is 15 times 35. So I'm going to do a column over here um, because it's a reliable method. So starting over here, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5, add 2 is the 7. Okay, bringing down the 0 to show that I'm now multiplying by 30. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 1 is 3. Add on that 1, we end up with 4. Add those amounts together and we end up with... We end up with 525. Now because... I've done it that way, I've cancelled down, that is actually the only calculation that I need to do. So let's have a look at it when it won't work doing it that way. Let's do 27% of um, 350. Okay, so again, we're going to rely on our method where we change the percentage into a fraction. Okay, percentage means out of 100. 27 out of uh, over 100 um, times 350 or of 350, they mean the same thing. Looking at that one now, it was easy before because I could cancel down this, the two zeros. There is not two zeros on either side. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna start off with my multiplication and then I'm gonna divide my answer by 100 at the end. Whatever we do with this, we're always gonna times by the numerator and divide by the denominator. It's how we find fractions of amounts. It works um, every single time. So my first calculation is going to be 350 times 27, which I'm going to do over here. 350 times 27, 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 5, um, 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 3 is 21. Add the 3, we end up with 24. Okay, I'm now multiplying by 20, so I need to add a placeholder. Uh, 2 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10 and 2 times 5 is 6 add the 1 is 7. I'm just going to double check that because my class know I tend to always make it's always good to double check. Uh, 7 times 0, 7 times 5 is 35, 7 times 3 is 21 add the uh, 3 is 24, 0 goes down, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10 carry across 2 times 3 is 6 add the 1 is 7 perfect I'm happy with that. I've checked it twice Okay, I'm not going to add those together. Okay, the adding is fairly simple. So we've got um, uh, 279. Double check those again. So we end up with 9,450. Now, I'm looking at this and I know that I'm missing a step here because if I'm finding a percentage of something or a fraction of something, my answer is going to be smaller. At the moment, this answer is larger. I have not yet divided by 100. So I need to do that. So I'm going to divide this number by 100, okay? And if you remember from last week, when we're dividing by 100, okay, we're going to put our decimal place in and we're going to move everything back two places. 
Okay, one, two, the zero goes there. Five follows, the four comes over here, and the nine comes over this way. So we end up with 94.50 or 94.5. Okay, so they were the methods that we've been using to find fractions of amounts for any amount. Don't forget that to find 10% of a number, we divide by 10. Okay, so if I wanted to find 20% of a number, I would divide it by 10 and then double it. If I wanted to find 50% of a number, I know that 50% equals half, so we divide it by two. I know that 25% is the same as a quarter, so I halve that, then I halve that again to find a 25%. And once you know what one quarter is, 75% is three quarters, so you can find one quarter, okay, by halving and halving again, or dividing by four, okay, and then timesing that by three, because you have three of them. To find 1%, which is essentially what we are doing up here when we're dividing by 100, we're finding 1% and we're timesing it by the number, the percentage that we need. Simply divide by 100. Okay, so that is how we're going to find our percentage amounts. Um, and hopefully that's helpful for you for the arithmetic that you have to do this week.